Okay, I'm just sitting here doing my taxes, and now I'm going to edit some of these more vlogs. Edit more of these vlogs. Whatever I'm saying. I can't... Oh my god. I See, I had to start... Look at what's going on outside. I just heard some sounds. It sounded like rain, and it looks like there's sheets of rains. Sheets of rains? Rains of sheets? Holy sheets of rain! Wow, it's like a tropical storm. And I think in Canada it used to be cold by this time of the year. I don't remember it being like like Punta Cana, but well, that's global warming. And I got a new building coming up here. Man, it's a whole... I'm very confused because it's very warm out, but there's like autumn leaves there, but there's also, it looks like flakes of snow flying around. It's like all seasons in one, which is perfect for somebody who can't make decisions for me. That was probably a Freudian slip saying people who can't make decisions for me. I miss having a girlfriend who would make decisions for me. I hate thinking. Thinking is hard. Decisions are hard. Life is hard. I'm in my bathrobe. It's 4 p.m. This is good. I posted the interview I did with uh, the woman from Gabalas, and uh, she's loving it, and all her friends are commenting. Tons of comments. And I even suggested, hey, we should do like a YouTube uh, podcast. Like one of her friends uh, said I was funny or something. I don't know. Uh, and I said, where is it? Oh, she said, what a natural. And that inspired me to say, yeah, we should do a podcast about Jewish food and comedians and New York life. And, uh, somebody just posted on my Instagram a comment saying, as a 15-year-old entrepreneur, I want to say I really like your feed. It's very inspiring. Um, so that's nice. I can't even tell if it's a, a guy or a girl because they're, they're a private profile and their picture... I don't know, you can't really see the person, it's very tiny, and their name is just like RDX or something. But anyways, uh, I'm glad I can inspire people. Just one second, I have to burp. I guess I could have just reshot that. But I like to be real, I'm raw, I'm showing you what life as an entrepreneur who just sits around all day and does nothing is really like. Uh, anyways, yeah, I'm glad I can inspire people to just do their thing. Oh, now I remember what I was going to say. I was going to say that I could pull up Instagram on my desktop computer here and show you the comment, but... That's a lot of trouble, and you can just go into my Instagram and look at it if you want, and it just says what I just said it said anyways, so we've already wasted too much time on this. So I told uh, my friend Dawn about this new name I'm thinking of, and she says, well, it sounds a bit feminine, and I'm like, I'm a bit feminine, and she's like, oh, that's true. Then I was just watching Ty Lopez, who went uh, live on Instagram. He's that guy with the glasses that makes videos you'll see on Facebook about, you know, look at my Lamborghinis in my garage, and I used to be living on a couch. But he's pretty inspirational. He was just talking for a while, uh, convincing people to take his course. But one thing he said, actually he mentioned Faith Popcorn, who's like a futurist, and how years ago uh, she predicted cocooning. You know, the idea that you know, Netflix would do well because people want to because people want to stay in and do stuff and not leave the house, and that's why Blockbuster went out of business. And then Ty mentioned somebody said, "Who's Faith Popcorn?" That's a silly name, and he's like, "Yeah, but you remember the name. You'll all remember the name." So he said, "If you uh, write a book and your name's like John Smith, don't go with that name. Come up with something crazy that people will remember," which is what I've been trying to think of. Well, as you know, for a long time. So, well, I looked up Faith Popcorn's name here. So I just googled Faith Popcorn's real name to see how she came up with this name, and she was born Faith Plotkin, so I think it's pretty obvious, you know, it just sounded kind of like popcorn, so she went with that. So there you go. But look, she wrote a book, The Popcorn Report. See? It works. So I'm not going to tell you uh, what my name idea was yet. I'll register the dot com, just in case. And then I can tell you. Uh, and then there's also Celebrity Josh, which, as we know, we think works well now, too, so I might have a couple of names.